Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and you're watching The Best JS. In this video series, we're going to learn the basics of Node.js, and we're going to use some new ES6 syntax while completing some exercises. So I'm really excited. If you've ever wanted to do full stack JavaScript and, and make uh, projects using the mean stack or the mern stack, if you're interested in React instead of Angular, well, uh, this is going to be a good crash course and in, like introduction uh, to you. Um, um, so anyway, uh, I wanted to give you some context and background as to why I'm making this video series. Uh, right here is the Free Code Camp website, and I absolutely love Free Code Camp. Um, I think my education is uh, mainly from them, and then also from uh, a few like really good Udemy courses. And um, and like I owe it all to them because uh, like I got a job uh, because of their great content and curriculum. But there are some areas um, that I feel like could use some changing or some beefing up or improvement uh, just because it's uh, really difficult uh, learning it uh, on your own so the more resources the better and that's not like a, a criticism to you know free code camp at, at all um, they, they have like a big team of volunteers and they're all doing a great job um, but if I can direct your attention, <laughs> of course I am, I'm the one in this video, uh, but if I can direct your attention, all right, you see right here, um, I just clicked on the map link on the website, and uh, this is their backend development certification. It's a really good, very challenging course. Uh, I recommend that everybody, you know, try it out and give it a shot. Uh, but right here in Node.js and Express.js, uh, you have like several modules, um, and they all direct you to this website say called Node School. And Node School is just uh, this you know open source um, kind of like self-learning you know website where you can download like a lot of uh, command line tutorials like directly from your terminal or shell using npm and uh, and so like free code camp they refer to these tutorials and a lot of these modules for the back end um, not like necessarily a bad resource but uh, if you're totally new and you have like no like uh, introduction or no idea like what node is or like um, like what it looks like then it could be really challenging and intimidating so that's why I'm creating videos walking through these challenges uh, so anyway we're not going to do the um, uh, manage packages with npm or build web apps with Express.js I think that deserves like its own you know video series so for this collection of videos I'm just going to focus on the middle three the second third and fourth modules and it's all going to be from node school particularly this one learn you node so what you have to do you need to open your terminal and I already have my terminal open Okay, and this tutorial, it runs on the command line. So you need to be comfortable with your terminal and you also need to have a text editor uh, to write your code to complete the exercises, uh, which I have uh, open right here. Um, this is my Atom text editor that I'm going to use and I'll just um, close that for right now. And if you don't already have Node and NPM installed, uh, you need to go to the website nodejs.org and uh, download um, one of these versions of Node, um, you could get 6.10 uh, or 7.7.2. Uh, it doesn't matter. Get the latest one. You'll get all the newest features and cool stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's um, let's like simulate what this actually looks like. Let's do it together. So going back to the um, Node School website here, let me blow this up a little bit so that you can see it. All right. So we're gonna put this command into our shell and, and make sure that you install node first if you haven't already done so that's really important or this will not work and uh, you just want to open your terminal and right now if i pwd i'm in documents so uh, please you know do this um, anywhere uh, where you want to um, it could be in any directory it doesn't matter and uh, you want to make sure that you install the name whoops that's not what i want you want to make sure let me close that too. Oh, must have pasted some old code. You want to make sure that you get this command in there. So that's going to be npm install dash g. That means globally install it. And the name of this tutorial is learn 
U node. Uh, kind of a funny name, uh, but anyway, that's how you install it. And if this throws you an error, it probably just means you can't install modules globally um, unless you're like the uh, root user or the super user. So just put sudo at the beginning of that command if npm install doesn't work. Just sudo npm install. Make sure you get the dash g and then learn your node. Okay, so I've already installed it and I'm not gonna reinstall it. Um, uh, so anyway, just do that on your own. And I am going to clear this out, create a new directory. Okay, uh, let's call it mcdeer learn you node. Okay, and I'm gonna cd into that, learn you node. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna open this up in my text editor now. I'm using Atom. You can use any text editor. I don't care. And in order to use this program, I'm going to close that, uh, you just have to run the command learn you node and it works automatically. Um, okay, and I've already completed all of these steps right here, all of the different uh, activities and challenges. Uh, so it says complete it. Uh, but let's go to the very first one. It's like super simple. That's why I want to do it in this first video. Okay, so with every challenge, you're going to get the um, basically the challenge in, a, in one or two sentences right here. So write a program that prints the text hello world to the console. All right, it's basically the simplest thing you're going to do in this video series. And uh, below that, they're going to give you hints. Uh, basically, you want to read this. Uh, on your own and then like try to complete the challenge uh, with the hints that they give you. Uh, in this video series, I am going to assume that you know how to read English. Uh, so I'm not going to read this out loud. So uh, you definitely want to pause the video, read the hints, and then come back later to code along with me. Uh, but let's just write this to the console uh, very, very quickly and uh, give it a shot. So I'm going to create a new file. I think this one is called uh, Baby Steps. So let's call it Baby Steps. And this is a Node.js challenge, so it has to be a JavaScript file. And all that we need to do is print hello world to the console. So super easy, console.log, hello world, and put a semicolon on it save it. Let's go to the console and right here, uh, if you want to test your code before submitting it, you write learn your node, run, and then you uh, write the name of that file. Uh, if you're ready to submit it, then you can verify your uh, program. So let's go ahead and do the verification and the test first and then we'll submit it. So learn you node, run, and it was 01 uh, baby steps. And I'm going to run this. And uh, okay, there it is. It, it actually ex executed my code and it printed hello world to the console. So let's not run it, but let's verify it so we can get credit for doing this correctly. Verify. And it's going to fail. Okay, um, I did that intentionally uh, to show you this. So uh, if your challenge or if your code fails, look at the results. So this is the actual result, and this was the expected result. Whoops, okay, we have to um, put it in uppercase, okay, all caps. So let's just go ahead, do that very quickly to uppercase or whatever. You could have just replaced the letters. And let's verify it one more time. Okay, perfect. So now we get a pass, and here's the official solution. Um, and so your solution might look different than the official solution. Mine looks very different. This is stupid. Why would you do that? Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do it the most obvious way. Perfect. Okay, so anyway, uh, that was the intro to the course, and I walked you through the simplest challenge that you're going to get in this program. Uh, let's stop right here. In the next video, we're going to go uh, to the next challenge, which is, let's go back to the menu. We are going to do baby steps. Oh, this was hello world. The next one is baby steps. Okay, I'm going to rename the file and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!